We are looking here at the northwest facade, the administration wing. You can see the office floors, the main entrance. And if we slowly fade out the facade here, more and more details of the building come to light. For example, we see the cloakrooms below the offices. We can already see the first ventilation ducts. We can make out the company cafeteria in the background. Staircases appear there. And if we go even deeper, we see the building surfaces here, shown in greater detail. The ventilation, the heating, the cooling. And these are the lifelines of your building. Let's now go to the heart of the building, the clean room. Here we are on the way to the airlock, the clean room is on the left. On the right you can see the facade, the double shell wall for the air ducting. On the ceiling are the fans for the filtered air, the filter fan units. And down on the floor are the floor outlets for air recirculation. offices in the administration wing of the building in the northwest. Here we are on the fourth floor with the kitchenette in the background. And so that we don't forget which extensive model forms the basis of these pictures, I have shown the building services here again. This is the BIM model. This is the famous digital twin which contains every detail that will also be contained in the constructed building. That means every pipe, every socket, every air outlet, every detail, it's all there. Here, a meeting room, Let's then go briefly to the staff cafeteria in the west of the building. And then let's take a look at the technical rooms. Here's the refrigeration center. Here we see the chillers both for process cooling and for cooling of the building. Here we see buffer storage, some pumps. And then let's move on to the heating center with the 900 kilowatt boilers for the entire building, including the administration wing. And because we can do it here, let's go through the ceiling just fly to the next floor. This is where the ventilation control center is located. This also contains the entire system for fresh air and exhaust air for the entire building, including production and administration. And if we fly a little further, we see the photovoltaic system on the roof. 550 kilowatt peak. And we close again with the overall view of the building services. What we have seen is all contained in this one building model, in this BIM model. And these BIM models are provided with the necessary background data depending on the service phase and form a continuous basis for planning, calculation, design, construction, right through to the operation of the building and its maintenance.